So darling, how are you darling? Oh darling. It's been a long while. I shouldn't have left you without a dope beat to step to. Step to. Sta step to. Oh darling. Come on in, darling, you dog, you. Come on in. Oh, I do want to thank you all for being here today. After all, you could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with me, darling. And I don't take that for granted, darling. Be a doll, would you? And like the video on the way in, darling. Come on in, come on in. I don't bite unless, of course, you're into that type of thing. Oh, Zala, you dog, you. Oh, it feels so good to be back, darling. Oh, I've missed the goddess gang so, darling. How are you all doing, darling? Shout out to everyone watching on Facebook, everyone watching on YouTube. If you're watching on Facebook, please leave a comment. Let us know where you're watching from. Let us know how you're feeling today. And if you're watching on YouTube, please like the video and make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Like, what is going on here? Like, subscribe to the channel. Um, just letting you know right now, there will be a call-in segment today. So, you know, if you have something you want to add, I am really curious to mainly hear from the men on this subject of today. So, you know, in a few, I am going to go ahead and put the link where everyone will be able to, if you so want to, you'll be able to come in, call in and speak your piece. Um, so today's video is, okay. Okay. Let me just explain how this all came about. All right. So I made a post yesterday and it really, when I made the post, it really was more so the response that I thought it was going to give, it ended up not giving that. And I was a little bit, a little bit shook and a little bit surprised. Okay. It, it didn't really work out the way I had pictured. And I, the response that I got scared me. Okay. That's, that's the best word that I can use. The, the response that I got scared me. Now, the type of person I am, I believe in being proactive. Okay. I don't need to get hit by the bus to see it coming. All right. Uh, I think as black people, we're one of the few groups of people who are in the middle of a war and don't know it. You know, in my opinion, black people play too much. Uh, black people think everything is a joke. Um, I think that for a lot of black people, if they were to fully comprehend how bad this system really is, I think it would be overwhelming for them. So in the black community, there's a lot of escapism to avoid having to face the music. But just because you don't face the music doesn't mean it's not playing, okay? I don't like to wait for things to boil over before making a move, okay? If I see the pot starting to boil, I'm going to go ahead and tend to it. I don't want to wait until everything is spilling over and then be like, be all reactive, like, oh my God, X, Y, Z happened. I don't like that. I want to see what's about to go down and move accordingly. All right. So I fully have accepted. And if you have not accepted this, you just don't want to. All right. Uh, programming is real. Uh, conditioning is real. It just is what it is. Okay, not my good sis. Hey, sis, I love you. It's my sis, Danica. Hey, Danica. Hey, I just want you to know I really, really love you. Okay, uh, hey, Danica. 
Um, I'm Danika's number one fan. I just want y'all to know, like, it's me. <laughs> like, I'm a fan. Like, I am, like, obsessed. Like, I love this woman so much. Like, it's not even funny. Like, oh, Danika, hi. I love you. <laughs> and I saw that sock passe, not boule ass. I saw that sock passe, not boule, non FBA. <clears throat> honey, I don't got bougie with the FBA now, honey. I be like, mm, non FBA. Mm. <laughs> Like, mm. like how white folks be when we come around. Now I'd be like, mm, there they go. Mm. Non FBA. Mm. Honey. <laughs> Chakana. But yeah, I saw that sock passe na boule. Okay. Coming for you, boo boo. And I don't appreciate that. Okay. She need to go on about her business. You know, and I don't like how they plaster those kinds everywhere. Okay, got us looking crazy out here. I saw that, sis. I, I did not too much appreciate that. I said, I said, what in the sacrifice say Naboule is going on here? Okay. Did my sis come for you? No. So I'm wondering why are you coming for my sis? <laughs> you know, but I'm trying so hard to change my life, sis. You know, I'm trying to change my life. All right. I am trying. Wusa. I am trying to namaste and namaste in my lane and, you know, lady folk alone. I'm trying. So I saw it and I wanted to go say something like, not you coming from my sis. My sis not her own business doing her own content. And now here you go. up. And I said, you know what? Okay. It's 2023. All right. We're going to let people do what they do. We're going to let humans human. All right. We know why they really mad. We understand why they mad. OK. And we just going to let it be. That. So my good sis just want you to know I did see that. OK. But I'm in the process of a life change. OK. I'm trying to do better. OK. All right. I'm, I'm healing. All right. I'm at this place of world peace. OK. Um, what do I do? World, world peace. OK. I'm in the process of ooh, when they try it. Let them try it. Let them have it. Let them have it. Let them have it. Don't respond. Don't respond. Don't respond. Okay. Get over your childhood traumas. You know what I'm saying? You know, we're all on a journey. That's my journey. My journey is, you know, what I work on, my flaw is working on not reading motherfucker for filth. You see what I'm saying? That's, that's where I am in my life. Okay. That's what I'm working on for self is Wanting to read you for filth, wanting to roast you because I know my read style, I'm really going to roast you, you know. And so I'm learning. You don't have to read everybody for filth. They're trying, you know, so that's where I'm at. But then I didn't see that. Yeah, I didn't appreciate that. But, you know, I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm just saying stock passe is the only Creole word I know. So that's what I'm speaking, you know. Um, so let me show you guys, this is, you know, so back to the subject. So I'm big on kind of seeing where things are going and speaking on it. Um, wherever there are masculine men in a group, that group becomes protected. Uh, it becomes impenetrable. All right. So for the longest, you know, their tactic has always been to separate us from our men because they understand that once women are separated from their men, they're separated from their shields, okay? They're separated from their uh, protection, okay? The men come in and they bring in authority. They bring in leadership. So they have a vested interest in keeping us separate from our men. Um, I personally don't subscribe to that. Um, you know, in my Patreon, I have us go out once a month and I have us mingle. I have us talk, you know, uh, we talk in the Patreon all the time about building community with men around you, uh, especially in non-romantic relationships, you know, learning how to build connections and build rapport with the men around you to keep you safe. OK, um, I'm big on that. There is no alternative. You see a lot of women complain about black men. They did say that. But they never provide you with any alternative besides divesting. I don't want to do anything that start with die, you know, divest. I'm good on that because I know that when it comes down to the wire, other races of men are not going to neglect their women for me as they should not. 
Okay, this is why everybody is responsible for themselves and their own family structures. So I'm big on, you know, I'm not throwing my men away under any circumstance and I would not want them to throw me away. Um, I think for a long time, people thought that since I'm very pro black, that they thought that men I want to hold hands and kumbaya with all black people. And that was never the case. I am actually a separatist. I am big on separating from all people not in my race. And I am big on separating from people within my race that think this is a joke. OK, because if you're in war, if someone is over there playing around, thinking it's a joke, you have to leave them behind because they're going to get everybody X. All right. So I'm at this place now. I am very particular with the people that I associate with my tribe. I don't got time to explain nothing to people. I don't got time to act, to entertain people acting like they don't understand what's going on. People understand. Some people want to escape from it. Some people want to face it and fight it and do better for the next generation. And that's what I'm on. If you are a person that believes in the mantra, like who cares? Everyone can do what they want. If you are a live, laugh, love, um, very liberal, modern day thinker, this stream is not going to work for you. OK, uh, I'm a believer in a more disciplined um kind of behavior in a people where an entire world is against you. Okay. I'm not that person that thinks that because a few white people were nice to me, that that means that all of that is over and all of that is in the past. It's so interesting. I posted this on Facebook the other day. Let me show this to you guys. And this letter really caught my eye and it caught my eye because the date on this letter was my mother's exact birthday down to the year. And in this letter, my Wi-Fi has been acting so dumb. Okay, so in, in this letter, uh, it is from some, a, it's from a medical school of sorts. And in uh, it's a, a black man that is looking to join the medical school and X, X man, X man, why? Y'all, I have the most spoiled baby cat ever. He, he doesn't understand me doing anything outside of him, okay? Whenever I'm doing anything outside of him, he's just perplexed. Like, what is my mom doing? Like, is she doing something that doesn't revolve around me? I don't understand. So, you know, y'all may see x man um, make cameos in the video. Please don't mind him. He is the sweetest baby ever. Love him. But he, he doesn't understand boundaries yet. Um, not you now rolling around. Okay. All right. Let me just move out of your way. This is just your world and I just live in it. Um, I'm working with X-Men to understand boundaries. He doesn't really understand them yet. And, you know, so it's a work in progress, but, you know, he means well. And so y'all don't mind him. You know, he's such a sweetie. He's going to come up here and purr. What a sweetie pie. You know, so don't, don't mind X-Man. You know, he really minds his business. He's just definitely a mama's boy. I'm just trying to make sure he doesn't touch this touch screen and click off the live. Y'all, y'all, um, let me just say for a second, thank you all for your support. Thank you for your donations because y'all, I'm upgrade. I got me a new laptop, y'all. X-Man, there's nothing on here for you. Y'all know I had that laptop from 2010 and honey, I got me a new laptop. Y'all, I think I'm fancy, honey. I love my new laptop. I've got touch screen, this whole thing, fold bag, honey. You can't tell me nothing. X-Man, what? What are you sniffing for? You're going to touch something. Okay, so let me show you all this letter. And I'm prefacing this this way for a reason, okay? Um, you know, so when we speak about, when we speak about the war against us, when we speak about uh, certain disadvantages that we have, it's, it's not just to, to sound good and hear our own voice. It's not just to sound good and hear our own voice. Uh, our ancestors went through a lot. And it's so funny to me how we kind of um, we kind of write all this out as though it was such a long time ago. So let me show you this. Let me share my screen. I thought that this was so uh, profound. I was like, wow, this is such a 
reminder that this is why we have to be easy on each other. Okay, let me make sure y'all can see this. I don't know how to blow this up more. Damn, let me see if I can blow this up. I'm not sure how I can make this bigger. Can I make this bigger? Here we go. Okay. So this is from Emory University, which is a current, current hospital, okay, here in Georgia. Let me make this big. This is a current operating hospital here in Georgia, making tons of money to this day, okay? The date is August 5th, 1959. This is my mother. I'm talking about one generation back. This is my mother's exact birthday, August 5th, 1959. Shout out to the Leos. Uh, Mr. Marion Gerald Hood. Here's his address. Da, da, da. Dear Mr. Hood, acknowledgement is made of your letter of July 30th in closing your application for admission to our School of Medicine. I am sorry I must write that you are not authorized to, to consider for admission for admission i can't read that there's a glare i am assuming it say we are not authorized to consider you for admission uh because as you are a member of the negro race i regret that we cannot help you signed by the the, the director of admissions then they're like ps i'm returning your five dollar application fee all right so when you see, you know, other races of people, why does my screen look like this? When you see other races of people with like generational doctors and generational wealth, it's like good for you. That was simply not how things are set up. I don't think that we understand that we really are the first free generation. OK, so we have these expectations to be in certain places and it's just not realistic and it's honestly just not fair. Why is this? Why is there this like, do y'all see a black box around me or do just I see that? I don't like how this looks. How do I fix this? Hold on. How do I fix this? I don't like how this looks. I want to fix. I want to fix. I don't know how to fix it. Ew, there's like this black box around me. How do I get this to go away? I want this to go away. Is it settings? Uh, I don't like this. Why do I have this black box? Let me first see, do y'all see the black box? Do y'all see the black box? You do? Oh, how do I get this to go away? I want this black box to go away. I don't even know how did it get here. Has it been here the whole time? Looks like we are at the theaters. Oh, I don't like that though. I want it full because I think it's harder for me to share stuff. Anyway, so, you know, that's where I am. Um, when I see letters like that, it's just a reminder, like, damn, like we really have to be easier on each other because look at everything we're coming from. You know, our ancestors literally trying to get their education, trying to become doctors, trying to build wealth. And then folks literally saying, you remember the Negro race can't do it. OK. I am a firm believer. I don't see it. Damn, I don't know how to fix it. Does anybody know how to fix this? Anyway, if anybody knows how to fix this, if you could like let me know. That would be great because it ain't giving. And I don't like it. Oh, well. Well. Okay, well, I just want it bigger. I want that. That's like an inch of space I'm missing. I could be getting right there. Anywho, Danica's so positive. Danica's like, it's okay, sis. We had the movies. Okay, period. <laughs> and that's that. So I, I say that because I like to be aware of the history behind things because it teaches you a lot about the direction things are going in. Now, when it comes to black people in particular, we have to understand that black people get this reputation as though we are homophobic. We get this reputation like we hate the gays and all that. And uh, it's simply not true. All right. Um, you have to look at the history of us. And when it comes to homosexual acts, 
acts like that were done to our men in order to dehumanize them. Okay. So, you know, it's not fair to have a group of people be particularly sensitive towards a certain thing and ignore the history behind it. Now, I first saw this photo. Let me show you the photos. And to be honest, when I first saw these photos, I thought to myself, you know, I thought to myself, okay, you know, um, I wouldn't want my man taking pictures like this. However, I did, you know, I, I, I respected the art in it. Okay. I was like, okay, let's be open-minded. Now, this is why you always trust your instinct. Because my first instinct was like, no. Okay. My first instinct said, no. How do I go down? What is this? What is going on? My first instinct was like, mm, this, this is not it for me. You know what I'm saying? That was my first thought. But I said, you know what? 2023. Okay. Let's be, let's be open-minded. I was like, okay, you know, kind of cool. All right. You know, I'm kind of seeing the art. My Wi-Fi is, it hates me right now. It, it just, I don't know what's wrong with it. It hates me. But anyway, my mind was like, okay, you know, I'm kind of seeing the artistic expression, you know, it's like, you know, a very uh, masculine looking man in pink and roses. Like I'm kind of, you know, okay, like I, I, I kind of see the, the art in it. And I should have stuck to my first instinct because things like this is always a slow rabbit hole. All right. Um, I'm also a firm believer in this. I don't care what no one says. When you have black men that only date white women, in my opinion, these are men that subconsciously enjoy being dominated and being submissive. Because anytime a black man is occupying the same space with a white woman, she holds all the power, period. Okay. You are at her mercy. If she decides to set this thing off right now and say some BS, that's just going to be what it is. It's not going to matter what you say. It's not going to matter what the truth is. Whatever that white woman says, that's just what it is. So in my opinion, if you only deal with them, you low-key enjoy being submissive. Why is this not working? So this is the pictures, all right? Okay, let's be open-minded. All right, so, you know, I'm kind of seeing the art in it. All right, super masculine looking black man. Uh, you know, pink flowery coats. I'm seeing the contrast. All right, masculine black man. Legs open, you know, okay, I'm roses. Okay. You know, all right. Okay. I'm, I'm seeing it. Okay. It's, it's okay. You know, if, if we be open-minded, it's giving comfortable in my manhood It's giving men can enjoy flowers too. Like this is me like, okay. Like this is me like trying to like, you know, all right, let's, you know, okay, you know, it's different, but, you know, you know, I'm, I'm trying so hard. I'm like, oh, okay, you know, as the pictures progress, I'm like, all right, uh, black man like roses too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, yeah, I, uh, yeah, oh, okay, <laughs> a, a pink book. Um, I do this pose when I'm laying down, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I do this pose, like when I'm laying down, I do like, you know what I'm saying? But okay, he's doing it too. I mean, <laughs> I guess that look is not, um, you know, I, I guess that look is not just for women. We're being open-minded. Real men wear pink. Oh, a whole pink suit. <laughs> All right. You know, um, he's doing the duck lips kissy lips i mean maybe he want to kiss <laughs> you know 
Okay. Black men reading, you know, once again, all pink. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, okay, you know, this ain't so bad. This is why you don't do that. This is why the minute that you see this, you have to say something. Now, let me also preface this by saying this. <laughs> Y'all like that pose looks familiar. Okay. I, I do that pose. All right. Uh, okay. You know, no big deal. Oh, malevolent elephant, you dog you. Oh, you dog you, malevolent elephant, you dog you. A malevolent elephant. You got me feeling kind of rich over here, darling. Have you all checked out Malevolent Elephant's channel? Why have you not checked out the channel, darling? Please check out the channel, darling. You will not regret it. It's a lot of interesting things on that channel. And Malevolent Elephant has started a second channel, darling, called Benevolent Elephant, darling. So please subscribe to that as well. You all, please have some time on your hands when you go to Malevolent elephant channel darling because it's a rabbit hole darling it sucks you in all kind of crazy things on there darling um someone say would these images make a difference if it was a hispanic or white man no it would not it would still be gay and number two you won't see them posting stuff like this you will not okay now let me um let me preface this by saying this okay i have decided a long time ago I don't like making fun of gay men. I don't like shaming gay men. I don't like teasing gay men. I don't like it, okay? I don't like throwing out the term gay as an insult. I don't like weaponizing the term gay. I don't, okay? The way I operate is if you are a black person, you need to be black first. You don't need to be gay first, Republican first. You need to focus on your blackness. So the way I've operated, as long as someone put their blackness first, I honestly don't care what you do in the bedroom. OK, um, I don't feel like I got to prove shit to nobody. I'm not about to do the whole I have gay friends. I'm not doing that shit. Um, you know, I feel how I feel. What I'm big on is uh, clarity. OK, I'm big on clarity when it comes to who you are. Uh, if you're hetero, you need to conduct yourself as such. If you are bi, you need to conduct yourself as such and let that be known. All right. Um, especially when it comes to representing a group. Uh, especially when it comes to bringing other people into your bedroom, okay? People need to know the truth, all right? I like very clear spaces. I don't like gray areas. Everyone needs to be upfront and honest about who they are. That's why I don't like making fun of men for coming out, especially black men. You'll not, you will not see me make fun of that, okay? Because I would prefer for people to just be honest about their sexuality and what they like so that they're not torturing other people in their confusion. Okay. Now, what I don't like is saying, oh, I'm heterosexual and then bringing homosexual tendencies into that space and trying to make it accepted. Absolutely not. Now I'm going to show you all the post that I put up. Okay. Let me share this screen. So this is the photo. I think the timing of this is particularly, um, uh, I, I think that this is very convenient where you have a movie like Creed that personifies a lot of black masculinity. And it seems like the higher a man climbs up in Hollywood, the more humiliation rituals that they're forced to perform. And in my opinion, these photos are a humiliation ritual. That is simply how I feel. I think the timing of this, I think the system says, wait a minute, you know, we can't have these movies coming out with black men boxing and doing this, that, and the third. Let's go ahead and effeminate that a little bit and tone it down. I want to also make note that the fact that both of these men in this photo consistently only deal with white women is also a problem to me, period. OK, a black man who is with black women or a black woman that speaks up on black male sexuality, masculinity is OK with me. But black men who do not give their love protection to black women, but then want to represent black masculinity does not work for me. OK, period. I'm just going to go ahead and say it don't work for me. Okay? Because in my opinion, if you decide to skip over 
all of these black women available to you to go give everything you have to a white woman, you are an agent to me. Okay. I, I don't trust you. To me, you ain't got no principle. To me, you have no dignity, you know, and you do what you do, but I don't want no parts of it. You know, I don't care. Like, just keep it away from me. I can't stand these motherfucking like interracial love pages trying to force it on people. We don't, man, go, on, go about your business, you know? And, and that's another aspect of the interracial relationships is taboo sex fetishes. Because why do so many people that swirl always have to be like, you're just jealous because we're with someone not black. Look at us. Look at us. Love is love. Love wins. Like, man, if you don't go about your business and go be with who you want to be with and move around. Y'all want people to care so bad. No one cares. What we care about is why we got to hear about it so much. Why I gotta why I gotta why I gotta talk about it so much? Why you gotta be with your non-black partner? But every time I turn around, you talking about black folks and black issues. That's my problem, man. Go about your oh, I cannot stand that. Oh, nanny nanny boo boo stuff like mm, I'm getting with a white girl. I don't want you as a black woman. Okay. I'm getting with white men. I'm done with black men. Man, if you don't take yo. All right. So I will say, yeah, it's because of who is in these photos that also makes a difference to me. Because what they want to do, Black men like this that solely deal with white women, what they want to do is come burn what we have down and then jump shit back to where they really want to be. So you want to come over here, confuse, blur the lines, and disturb heterosexual Black male masculinity then you want to take your bag and head out back to Snowland. No. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and say absolutely because of who is in this photo, it does make a difference. Okay. They already have showed they have no vested interest in the black community whatsoever because who a man chooses to lay next to, meaning that's who he chooses to lay his life down to protect, tells me everything. Okay. Um. I don't do the whole, you can't help who you love, live, laugh, love. Once again, that's not my philosophy here. So please move around if that's your philosophy. I don't do that. I'm big on doing what you need to do. I've been like that since I was seven, eight years old. Since I was seven, eight years old, I have had the mindset of do what you need to do. Okay. So I don't succumb to the, do what makes you happy. You can't, I don't, I don't do all that. I'm grown as hell. I don't do that. I've always, I've always been an old soul. All right. So I understand how some people, we get so lost in that because some people just don't understand that. They think every, they make light of everything. What's the big deal? Like, what's wrong? You know, that's you. I see through all that. I know why it's a big deal. So move around, okay? So that's that. So this is the picture. Let me show you all. Now, when I posted this, I truly posted it. Just, I posted it on some stuff like, wow, like, look at this. Like, psh, what y'all? Would y'all come look at this? Y'all come look at this. What are, what are they doing? <laughs> what the hell? Y'all look at this. That is not what happened. Instead, I got a bunch of mostly like, okay, let me all say, I expected black women to say what's wrong. Not there's nothing wrong with it because like when Baller Alert and Shade Room posted it, here go black women talking about, I want to join you know, put me in the middle. And I say, you know, I, I have very low expectations when it comes to black women and knowing what's good for them. All right. Black women are the easiest pawns. They are so easy to finesse, trick. You know, it, it's just so easy. You know, black women are so clueless. They don't never know when they, they, they will willingly participate in something meant for their demise. And I've just accepted that about them. So I didn't care. But what I found mind blowing, y'all, is that it was 70, a good 75% of black men that saw this photo in my comments thought that absolutely nothing was wrong with this. Okay. They were even going so far as to call me out my name. There was certain men that I know personally on this comment section that I thought was like solid dudes. 
that were starting off their comment with things like, as a cis het black man. And I was like, you too, Brutus? I ain't never known a real nigga in my life that's finna refer to himself as no cis head nothing. What the hell? Real niggas don't do that <laughs> under any circumstance. So I was like, oh my God, this is really happening. This has been the goal all along. Again, to blur those sexual lines, to make people be confused as to no black and white, no gatekeeping, nothing solid for what is homosexual and what is heterosexual. Now, back in my day, okay, back in my day, if you were a man, okay, and you said to someone, hey, take a picture of me and my homeboy. If you, as a dude, if you were to have pressed your head up against another man's head like this and then take your hand and grab his head like back in my day if your homeboy was right here and y'all want to take a picture i swear to god if you would have grabbed your homeboy and went like this and put your hand like this and went like this niggas would have been like man watch out it would have been like man you don't go on they probably would have laughed it off like <laughs> Like, man, bro, what you doing, man? Going on? What, what the hell? And it would have been like, you know. But now we at this place where the men see this and they're like, what's the problem? Okay. What's the problem? At this point, okay, I see where we're going. All right. If this is the new age, non-toxic, healthy masculinity, Bring back toxic masculinity. All right. Bring it back. All right. Uh, I don't like this new wave of masculinity that's coming through this ultra accepting blurred lines, gray area masculinity. I don't like this. At this point, bring back the toxic type. <laughs> bring it back. Okay. Um, I don't like this progressive masculinity. I don't, I don't like this. Now, some people were saying, you know, oh, oh, as a woman, you can't speak on this because this is manhood. This is brotherhood. What do you mean? You cannot be heterosexual without women. Okay. To be heterosexual, it requires you to have intercourse with women, be attracted to women. So you're crazy if you think that the women that, that you need to be considered heterosexual don't have any say so in what it is and what it is not. Women absolutely have a say so. I'm telling you right now, if my man was hanging with his homeboys, we was all hanging out and he told me, hey, babe, take a picture of us. And I said, okay. And I went on to take the picture and he grabbed his homeboy like this and held his head like this. I'd be like, what the hell? Uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. One thing I'm not going to do, I'm not going to take, nope, nope. I'm not going to take no picture of no grown man like this. Okay. I'm not, I wouldn't, I refuse. It's not happening. Okay. You can show your love to your brother, like, you know, with your arm around them. Y'all can do that, you know, the nigga pose, you can even do like a little jail pose, but you not finna sit in front of me and grab your homeboy head and put your cheek on his cheek. Man, if y'all don't, man, I, I cannot believe that this even has to be a conversation that this is too much. I am all for black men being uh, loving towards each other. I am all for black men, you know, showing affection towards each other. However, there is a line. Now I'm going to tell you all some of the common kind of retorts that I was seeing from the men. And they were saying, okay, this is not gay at all. Uh, they were saying this is brotherly. And the way they justified this was they said that they did an interview and Michael B. Jordan uh, did this whole spiel about how much he loved Chadwick Boseman and how much he misses him. So now he want to hold his brothers close. Uh, you know, no. 
absolutely no. I'm gonna be real with you, niggas die every day, B. It is what it is. Um, it doesn't justify you engaging in intimate romantic poses with another man. Okay. You could have put your arm around him. You know what I'm saying? You could have did a little fist bump. You even could have leaned in with each other. But this whole romantic uh, women do that. You know, your man lay on your lap. You, you hold his head. You know, only a woman should be holding your head for any reason. You know, even if you holding his head for other reasons, like no man should be holding no other man head. I'm sorry. OK, any hands be on a man head is supposed to be your hands on his head, you know, maybe for something else or like, you know, in a but there really should be no reason for no man to be touching no man head either head. No heterosexual man. OK, the only the only exception at the barbershop. And even in the barbershop, men got rules. You know, even in the barbershop, they like, man, don't be leaning, putting your nuts all on my leg and don't be doing all that. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's just certain things we just not going to do. All right. So some people were saying, uh, oh, well, you know, uh, they, they, they're like brothers, like brothers. Let, let me say two things. Number one, I'm going to be real with you. Even if they were blood brothers. And they were not children. This pose would be okay for blood brothers that were in elementary school or younger. This would not even work for blood brothers in middle school or older, let alone grown men. Even blood brothers don't need to sit and go like this with each other. They don't need to do that. Okay. So what I noticed is now that these lines are so blurred, now you got men confused like, I don't know. So the other comment was, oh, this is common in many cultures. Arab men kiss each other. Italian men kiss each other. African men are close to each other like this. Let me tell you something. With African men in rural Africa, yeah, they take all the young boys, round them up together, butt naked, and keep them close to make them comfortable with each other. And the reason why they do that is to build that bond and that comfortability between them because we need y'all to know each other and be close to each other so you can build and so you can produce. So, yeah, they take them out in the woods, strip them down naked and make them get real close. Like, yeah, get comfortable because you're going to be working shoulder to shoulder with your brother to produce. They don't have them sit with each other like this. Get the. All right. Yeah. So then I, I realized a lot of the arguments from the men were very feminine. They were very feminine. You know what I'm saying? Like they were giving very womanly. You know how women reach for the hills when they want to prove a point and they don't have one else. It's something super dramatic. So the men were like, would you rather us be deleting each other? And would you, so when, when we love each other, it's a problem. So would you rather us delete each other? I said, man, shut up. Oh, please. Oh, please spare me the dramatics. So if we're not with this, the alternative is we want you all to go kill each other. Just stop. But I see how any man that sees nothing wrong with this, of course, has a more feminine way of thinking and is not going to have a real talking point. No, I don't want you to tell me about how you feel. Don't give me these extremes. Well, if you don't like this, maybe we should just kill ourselves. Don't do that. Look me in my eye and explain to me why two alleged heterosexual men with their cheeks together, holding their head, poking their lips out, explain to me how that is not romantic and not feminine and not gay. Nobody could explain that. Instead, it was, it's better than us killing each other. The bar is in hell. So basically, unless you're not killing each other, we should just be happy with this? No. Ladies, if you... Ladies, if you was going through your man's paperwork and you came across a picture with him, with another man like this, and I want y'all to be honest in the comments, would you be alarmed? Would this disturb you? I'm going to be real. It would for me. If I was organizing my man's shit and then I'm going through his stuff and I saw him with a nigga like this, I ain't going to hold you. It's over. I ain't gonna hold you. This would scare me, and I would like, man, listen, I'm finna go. Okay, I, we're we're breaking up. 
I ain't gonna hold this would scare me. I would be like, what the hell? This ain't necessary. You ain't had to do all that. You know? X-Men, what are you? X-Men. Ooh. X-Men just broke into the cabinet to get to his food. You know what? Does anybody want a cat? <laughs> do anybody want a cat? So let me see if the comments are going to show up because these comments... They do what they want. I wonder, is it going to let the comments show? Let me see. Let's see if we can see some of the comments because Instagram is the worst. It don't never want to show. Nope. It don't never want to show no comments. Dang it. I want to show y'all the comments so bad. How do I show the comments? How do I want to? Damn. I can't show y'all the comments. Damn, I don't know why it won't show it. Okay. Thank you for the super chat, Demetrius says, I remember I saw this and was like, WTF, that's not normal. I think Majors might be, and he's after Michael. Yeah, because Majors looks a lot more comfortable than Michael is. Like, Michael looks slightly uncomfortable, but Majors looks like the aggressor here. Like, he'd definitely be the top. He would definitely be the top. You do not have to do this to show your brother love. So since it won't let me, um, it won't let me show the comments. I'm just going to read some of the top comments from the post. Okay. Um, from the men. So there was men on here talk about sis. Uh, one man literally said like at this point, I'm just like, man, you know, these niggas is gay. I mean, that's just where we're at. Like, niggas is gay. It just is what it is. Like, that's why I say, like, heterosexual black men who stand on their manhood unapologetically, you have to salute them because so many are conforming to this confusion. This has been the plan all the time. Oh, you don't need these women. Look how terrible these women are. Like, we just need each other. Like, without these women, we wouldn't have to protect them and share our money with them. Like, it could be just us. And when you want to get one off, you know, there'll be altar boys and other men, you can do it. Like, let's normalize, you know, men wanting to be with other men. It's not that big a deal. So now you take two of the biggest heartthrobs of present day. You take the two men that majority of women are salivating over and you present them like this because you're desensitizing the women like, hey, you know, if this the type of man you want, you're going to have to accept what come with it. Thank you for the super chat, Bree. Bree says they have programmed our men to be more feminine since slavery. Black men were the most masculine men. Look what they have been doing to our men. Absolutely. And that's why I salute brothers that stand firm in this because I understand like it doesn't have to be that way. Okay. Thank you so much for the uh, cash app, Adrian. I appreciate you so much. Let me put this up here if y'all want it. Oh, that's so big. How do I make that smaller? That's huge. Why would they put this big ass thing? How am I this smaller? God, damn, that's huge. Okay, I'm about to put the link. While I, while I read some of these comments, I'm going to put the link in here so that if you want to come speak your piece, you can. I would like to hear from both sides. I want to hear from men that don't agree with this and the men that do. I just saw another, another super chat. Uh, thank you so much for the, the super chat, uh, Whitney B. Such a specific topic and so needed. You are so right about extremes. It's always one extreme or the other. That's what I'm saying. Then somebody commented and was like, well, I see why I haven't seen you on the big screen and why I haven't seen you in movies and syndicated radio because now I see that you have these ideals. So let me get this straight. So if heterosexual people say this is not heterosexual behavior between two grown men. So by us simply being like, oh, no, nah, this, this, this is gay. OK, I'm not calling them gay. I'm calling whatever is in this photo is gay. This is not appropriate for two grown men and nor is it necessary. Nobody can explain to me why this is necessary. You can let your brother know I love you. I got you without holding his head 
like a bitch. Okay. JJ Robinson, thank you for the super chat. He says Majors was kissing white boys in his first movie. I know you lying, JJ Robinson. Are you for real? Yo, tell me you're joking. Are you for real? You just are you for real? You playing? Um, Abe, please. I'm about to put the link. Please come on and explain to me why I'm losing and explain to me why I'm crazy. You know, I don't want to see nobody comment nothing crazy. The link is coming up. Come on here and explain it. And I, no name calling. There is no, oh, you're crazy. This is ignorant. Don't do that. Come on and like a man, stand up and articulate why this is not gay, period. Okay, come on here and explain it. Don't come on here all emotional. Don't come on here talking like a female, giving emotional extreme responses like, would you rather us kill each other then? Don't do that. All right. If you want to come on here and explain like a man, then you're welcome to do that. But don't come in here. If you come on here and sound like a woman, I'm going to hang up on you, period. Okay. Let me post this. Let me see. Join... Uh, let me put this on here don't come in i'm not playing with y'all don't come in here throwing no insults do not come in here with no emotional extremes come in here be logical speak facts and explain why this is perfectly okay and why this is not homosexual okay let me pin this Oh, thank you so much for the cash app, Cammie. Let me send you a heart back. Cammie says, thanks, sis. This combo is so needed. You're welcome, sis. Let me put this up for y'all. I don't know why it's so big. I don't know why it's so big, but it just is so big. Anyway, I almost said a, a dirty joke, but I ain't going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I almost said a dirty joke. I ain't going to do it. People already think my sense of humor is sick. So let me not. <laughs> All right. Let me post this. Let me let me pin this so y'all can come on. And I want to hear from the fellas. Like, I want to see your take on this. You know, I'm all for healthy masculinity. I'm all for men, you know, showing love to their brother. I'm all for that. But I, I ain't for this, this extreme stuff. And, and I know that if there's already an agenda behind us then we can't be so reactive you know we don't need to wait until they have our men bending each other over before we say oh this is a problem we don't have to do this uh how do i pin this let me see pin message okay so the link to join is should be pinned at the top of the chat so go ahead and click that and come on and give me your uh, give me your opinion. Again, everything here is an opinion. OK, this is an opinion. Don't come on here attacking nobody. Don't come on here, you know, talking crazy and doing all that. Just come in here and say what you need to say. OK, uh, how are you doing? My God damn six. God damn. I just want to try, man. First thing first. I can't speak for the next man. I don't know what they was doing. I don't know where they was. Mine was, but they definitely got caught slipping in the studio. You know, I just wanted to chime in and see you smile. That's all I wanted to do. Oh, uh, thank you, my brother. I appreciate uh, beautiful you. braids. You know, your glasses looking. Thank good you. Today. So Stay you solid. say you not you not with this? What hell no? <laughs> Killmonger, you deserve to be slapped doing some shit like that. But the first things, you know. I just think they really got caught slipping. I think they was trying to uh, be um, in tune with the current climate, which yeah. is uh, 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 opposed to male toxic masculinity or all these other words and shit. But yeah. they was just doing too much. Yeah, and, they uh, tried too hard. Tried too hard. Yeah. But they good, I brother. Should. They good, brothers. You know, keep stay on their head, though, because they got to change. Yeah, because it, it ain't it. I appreciate it you, my it. brother. You know, the children are not going to really understand. You feel me? They going they just look at images and then they kind of run with it. But, mm -hmm. you know, they, they got to um, get better, though, because we mm -hmm. got to we got to project the, the right images, the perfect images for the youth. Because, you know, shit like that going to be around. 
That ain't going that, nowhere. That's what I feel like. That, that that's my whole nowhere. point. Yeah, that, that's my whole problem is make this stuff clear. That is too much right. of a gray area. You know, too much of a gray area. You know, that, that's okay to do even if you're straight. No, it's not. No, you're not going to no. grab no man. No, you can't do that. And that's it's, my it's issue. okay to do it if you're not on camera. You feel me? If you at the yeah, you me, but like you, you probably could do that. Like if your if your best friend mama just died or something, and in your own <laughs> personal intimate yeah. moment, you like hey, exactly. Bro, all right, bro. You know what I'm saying? But you can't take no picture and put a frame in black and white. No, you can't do that. <laughs> nah, not when you are uh, on top of the world. You know they just they just uh. Gave gave Michael B. Jordan GQ Man of the Year or some shit. So like, come on, man, you gotta you gotta yeah, know where you at. To me, it come at a cost. Like they'll they'll give them that, but then they take away in a different form. And I feel like that they're they're giving, but they're also taking away. But also, I wanted to say that we gotta stop allowing the media to control the narrative because their 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 um opinions and how they view us is not how we view ourselves. So it's like Fact. whatever the fuck they talking about, they gonna always be talking. That's just mm -hmm. what haters do. They always talk, but it's like we still got to be on our square to not give them no uh, outlets to do no weird shit like that. Yep, me? I agree. You don't. We. That's no. why I, I, I say we don't wait until they bending over to be like, oh wait, now what's the problem? Like the minute that you see it starting to go left, say that. You right. know, it's gonna be no man. Yeah, you gotta check the ass. Yeah. yeah, I appreciate you, my brother. Thank you so much. All right, six. All here. right, young guy, to stay positive. Yeah. You have a good one. Okay. Uh, how you doing, Abe? You might want to turn the stream down in the background because it's going to echo. Abe? Abe? Why it sound like you being held hostage, like you in the back of a kidnap van? Like, oh. is something covering your phone? You sound kidnapped. Uh, hold on, I'm, a, I'm in the truck. I'm a truck driver. Give me a second. I'm about to say, it sound like you in a, a van or <laughs> a truck. I'm going to come back to you, okay? Maybe you're on a speakerphone. Hello, Robert. How are you? P6, how are you? I'm doing good. Thank you. We want to give your opinion on today's subject. Um, I think it's over the top, but I think the two top pictures in that photo are the ones that stand out the most to me. I think the other ones kind of add to the, the whole mix, but the two top ones seem to be more inappropriate to me. Like the, the bottom ones don't really, they didn't really push me that way because, you know, brothers may, may sit like that and may be caught off guard and it's not a big deal. But the two, the two up top seem more intimate. Like I'm not taking a picture like that, and I'm, I'm, I'm not taking one personally. And I'm not if I see if I'm taking a picture and two guys are like that, I'm gonna ask them, well, what's going on? <laughs> you gonna ask them what's going on? <laughs> Only because we don't, as men, we don't embrace each other in that manner. I'm not saying I won't like shake my brother's hand or even mm -hmm. have my arm around his. But if yeah. I'm if I got my head tilted like that to me that's where it gets a little goofy. I'm not tilting yeah. my head and leaning it on a man's shoulder. Yeah. What would you grab? Would you grab his head like this? You know what? I looked at that like picture this? several times, and it looks like he's he has his own hand. I don't know if that's if that's the other brother's hand reaching. No, around. I think that's I think that's uh Jonathan's hand. I, I I'm trying to gather that the best way I can. I wasn't sure. Either way. The, him, he has his chin on his shoulder because you it just looked like Michael's arms are down, you know what I'm saying? This okay. looked like his hand because then that means Michael would be taking a picture like this. And so, you know that part, why would he take that picture like that? I agree, but the I think the key, the key thing in that particular picture is the fact that he has his chin on that brother's sh uh, top of his shoulder like that. That's more of yeah. something that a woman would do. Yeah, that's how a woman lay on you after you lay the dick. <laughs> like, after, after a man lay the dick real good, you be in love. You be like, ooh. You know what I'm saying? Like, you right. you, you feel so sad. Like, ooh, he don't put that thing on me. And you're going to lay on him like, ooh. But why is a man lay on another man like he just laid some good pipe down? Yeah, so Are the you bottom two, that, I really don't have an issue with. Personally. Okay, so you saying the bottom two, this ain't too bad, but it's just these two. 
them top two is like, come on, y'all, what, what we doing? Would would you take a picture uh, if if your son or your homeboy grabbed his friend and take a picture like this and they pose like this? Would you take the picture, or would you be like, hey, what you know? Hold on, like, who, what? Who, who's who's in the picture again? Who is it? So let's say this is your your son or your best friend, and they want to take a picture with a dude and they posing like this. Would you take the picture, or would you be like, hey, I'm not gonna take that picture? The top two, I'm I'm asking, what are y'all doing? Like, break that shit up. <laughs> Like, is it something I need? Like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Let's be clear. What exactly is this? What are we doing? <laughs> okay, well, thank you for sharing your opinion, my brother. I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> Have a good one. I wouldn't take the picture. I would drop the phone and be like, man, I don't want no parts in this, man. Gone on. Okay. I don't ever want to contribute to a feminizing black man at all. You know, and so many people are like, why do y'all care? Why do y'all care? Why do we care? Are these the same people who, when it came to people raising their kids, told people, why do y'all care how people raise your kids? And now y'all the same ones calling the police talking about, oh my God, these young people are breaking in our cars and kicking in our doors. Are y'all those same people? You know what I'm saying? Stop waiting till things hit the hit the fan before you start realizing that something is your business. When this is posted on my page and 75% of the men comment and say that this is okay and that this is heterosexual, that's why it's our business. Because heterosexual black women need to start to demand, no, we need men to be clear and concise about their sexuality. I'm not finna, no heterosexual black woman with any sense want to see their man going around taking photos like this. That's why it's our business. Okay. All right, um, Abe, are, you got your sound together? I hope so. Can you hear me now? Yeah, you sound a little bit better. Go ahead and share your opinion on a subject. Okay, thank you. How are you today? I'm doing good. How are you? Not too bad. Thanks for asking. Um, yeah. You know what? There was, the way they took those pictures, you know, they make them look a little suspect, a couple of them. Now, I'm driving in my truck right now, so I can't really see, like, a, a big picture of it, but I get the gist of it, you know. Um and when men say that this picture is okay, they say it's okay because you wouldn't take a picture like that with just any man. You know what I'm saying? That would have to be somebody that's actually close to you, that you, you know, you broke bread with, you went to war with, you know, you cried with, you shared your feelings with. You know what I'm saying? And and it's 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 embracing, you know what I'm saying? So, it's, so it's, you're it's saying that love. that picture is okay. Well, depending if the two men have a close relationship well like i said the way they made it you know it's like they took it out of context a little bit you know what i'm saying i mean are you there are you there abe abe hello all right, Abe, I'm going to remove you and you, you can come back if we're able to get you back together. Uh, in pursuit of, I'm, by the way, y'all, I'm just switching out my camera battery real quick. And while I do that, uh, pursuit of excellent, can you go ahead and share your opinion with us? Hey, Six, what's going on? How are you? I'm good. How you doing? Hey, good, good. Hey, real quick. So I remember growing up, my dad, um, moved to Houston, him and my mom separated. They, they made up, got back together. And when he came back, I remember him breaking certain habits for me. Like, you know, I would cross my fingers and just do weird stuff. But he showed me how to hold the fork, how to do those things, you know. And so really the absence of the father is, um, is kind of allowing this narrative to keep going. I hope that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Second point, second point, we have to take control of our own narrative. There's some kind of way where we have to start our own media companies, our own platforms, something so we can 
craft our own narrative and we don't have to buy into what they're selling us. They've hijacked all of our of our media. They've hijacked our music, you know. And so I just really think it's time for us to really think about um, about how we move forward big picture wise. I'm not with the picture, you know. I, I think they have they're trying to spin masculinity. I think toxic masculinity is kind of a unfortunate term. I believe in clean masculinity versus dirty masculinity. Mm -hmm. And this this picture right here is just not who, who we want to be, right? What happened to the black enterprise poses, the power poses, um, yeah. you know, black men in suits. You know what I'm saying? Um, so no, yeah. I'm, so in short, I'm not with it. I appreciate the time. Okay, I appreciate you, my brother. Yeah, I agree. You know, we... We have got, that's what I mean by it, it takes us to be the one to be like, oh no, you know what I'm saying? This is not how we're about to represent heterosexual black men. You know what I'm saying? We not finna sit here and act like this is cool. That's just not what we about to do. Uh, Miss Whitney, how are you? Whitney B? Baby girl, we can see you boo. Are you getting camera ready, baby? You Casey, look, you look beautiful. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, and I can see your beautiful face. Casey, can, can you, you hear turn, me? Yes. Can you turn the show down in the background, please? Okay. Cool. Hey, your hair looks really good today. Thanks, girl. I, I cannot get this thing off my camera. If y'all wondering what's taking me so long, like for some reason, I cannot get the battery out of this, but I'm here. I'm here. You have something you want to add on the subject, sis? Yeah. Um, I just wanted to say, um, I feel like. Go ahead. Yeah, I feel like a lot of times when we see, um, like, our Black men who, like, kind of display this behavior, particularly Michael B. Jordan, because doesn't he like white girls? Absolutely. Okay, so I know somebody who kind of seems like they're, they're gay. And they might not want to let anybody know. We all know how that stigma is. Yeah. And whenever he introduces himself, he's like, hi, my name's so-and-so and my wife is German. It's, it's like part of his introduction. So mm -hmm. could Michael B. Jordan just be gay? I think he definitely could be. I, I, I've been said that I truly feel like Black men that only date white women, you know, and I spoke about that in the beginning. I said, I feel like they have a submission kink. They have a dominance kink. Like, because I, I, I always know that anytime a black man is in the presence of white women, you know, he's always at her mercy. A white woman can wake up at any moment and say he did X, Y, Z. And that's law. So when I see black men and they only want to go sit before white mama, it always gives very much so, you know, he liked to be dominated. Uh, he likes to feel submissive, you know? So yeah, and, and that's what I said, that this is the other reason why those particular men participating in this is a problem. Because they want to leave the community, go give themselves to other women, come in here, disrupt and blur the lines of black male masculinity and heterosexuality, then go right back over to white women. It doesn't work like that. Don't come over here confusing shit and then take your ass back over there. Stay your ass over there. And if you're going to pose this way, introduce yourself as a bisexual or hetero or homosexual black man. Don't come over here representing heterosexual black man, black men like this with this bullshit. Then take your ass back to the snow buddies. And, like and, and particularly with Michael B. Jordan, because I said it was very strange when he started dating Lori Harvey and everybody was like, oh, he likes black girls. No, that doesn't quite, that doesn't quite kick it. Like Lori Harvey, she's black, but she isn't the type of black that's going to prove that you like black girls, if and that makes sense. That, 
Not only that, but who a man has sex with does not in any way, shape or form speak to what he really loves or what he prefers. Right. You know, so I I was so confused with, oh, he's with Lori Harvey. So he likes white. He likes black girls. No, he does not. That doesn't mean that at all. You know what I'm saying? So I, that was I, all for the media. Absolutely. It, it, that, that's just what she does. So I, I agree, sis. Thank you so much for taking my call, Six. This is my first time live with you. So thank you so much. You're so welcome, sis. Thank you for coming on. Have a good day. You too. I was trying to find that music video with Michael B. Jordan with that uh with that white girl on the beach. <laughs> I was trying to find it. Oh, I think I found it. <laughs> Hold on. Oh my God, hold on a second. Look, listen, I'm sorry, but yeah, this this man right here, no, nah. this man right here, he ain't allowed to come looking like he gonna come define uh, black male masculinity. You know what I'm saying? We, we not allowing this, okay? We're not allowing this. I look to the sky for another day, to the beach shore, bring Scooby snacks. OK, uh, it doesn't work this way. This is what I mean by having clear lines. If you think that this man is not a problem. All right. And him doing all that. I don't know what to tell you. Y'all ain't see that. Oh, y'all ain't see that. Y'all thought I was playing. Yeah, this is your boy. You know, th this your boy. OK, this is who. <laughs> This is who wants to come in here doing confusing, you know, confusing photos like this. Okay, prophecy, the savior. Now, this comment is problematic for me. And I'm going to tell you why it is. The comment says, well, there has been a lot of shots at MBJ. Seem like he is meant to always be scrutinized no matter what it is. He can't win. I think maybe he just get off social media is going to he is going to get hate regardless. Now, I find this comment problematic because I kind of asked in the stream and I asked you to respect the show, not to have any emotional arguments. You know, don't do this. Explain to me why that photo is not homosexual. Explain to me why it is okay for a man to put his face against another man and grab his head and poke his lips out explain that but this whole oh y'all all hating on him he can't win for losing that's not going to work for me okay actually have an argument actually have some type of logical point but don't do that oh wait one one second tony uh law how are you hey six how are you i'm doing good thank you you want to add something on the subject Yes, ma'am. Um, first things first. Any any brother that wants to defend this man, you you gay automatically. I don't trust not man one of y'all. Y'all not my kin. Like I'm I'm ashamed as a black man that people are even trying to make an excuse for this. This is a shame. Yeah. This is terrible. Like like see, look, the biggest snakes in the camp look just like you. Yeah. Like men like men like this are the are the very reason why men like me. I. Even even I be questioning the, the the men around me like, are you down low, fam? Mm -hmm. Like like the women are like they're they're no ain't nothing about this. Like and any man that's trying to make an excuse for this, you the first ones that I would step very far away from. You a danger to me. You a danger to black women. You a danger to our image. You a danger to everything we stand for. We out here get putting in work, and you sitting there talking about let's have a brotherly embrace. The hell is wrong with you? Mm -hmm. Grow up, man up. It, it, it's your position as a man to protect and to provide, not to be embraced and cry. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. I, I'm, not, I'm not trying to see the see. My thing is this: I think there should be a healthy balance. Should men be in touch with their emotions? Should they cry if they need to? Should they love their brother? Absolutely. But is that something men need to be doing all day? Do they need to be doing romantic poses with each other to do that? 
Uh, absolutely not. You know, it's just absolutely unnecessary. I can't think of any reason of why this is necessary. It just simply is not. You know, I was surprised with the comments. OK, it was mostly men. They they like um, saying this is gay is whack. Would you rather them stare each other down and curse each other out? Uh, they spent two, three years finishing up a film. They're going to be rich. Like, what is this? Like, they're basically saying, like, this is not gay. They're rich. Like, yeah. how is that? Uh, one guy says to me, he says, this is critically and artistically an interpretation and expression of brotherly love and subdued masculinity. Once again, done purposely to shock the senses and challenge the traditional and current viewing of masculinity. I love it. Am I my brother's keeper? Do I have my brother's back? Can I love my brothers without reflecting sexual undertones? It's challenging perceptions. So what do you okay, feel about on. that? It's artistic. <laughs> Hold up, hold up. What did I? What? Okay, uh, did they? Okay, did they just? Did they just put women's brains in male bodies? Mm-hmm. Yes, I'm like, what, what kind of response is that? What type of ideology is that? That to me, that is scary. It's very feminine of him to say that. You know, I feel like that comment, you know, with the whole, oh, this is art, you know, this is challenging masculinity. <laughs> I'm going to be real with y'all does not need to be challenged. Masculinity is very black and white and it stands firm in what and who it is. It doesn't need challenging. It doesn't need second guessing. It doesn't need. Are you sure? Masculinity is strong and clear. All this, I like it because it's challenging masculinity. Uh, we don't need black male masculinity to be challenged, okay? We don't need that. We need it to be strong and clear, okay? I, I thought that was a very feminine talking point for men to be like, oh, it, it's, it gets the people going. Like, no, we, we, can, we can find other ways to provoke thought without, you know, effeminating our men. Yes, yes, six. And um, my whole thing is this: masculinity is simplistic. It should never become complicated like a woman's emotions ever. Like, if anything, masculinity is more of a verb. It's an action. It's a. It's. It's something that you're doing. You're contributing. It's. It should not be this emotional spectrum like we're dancing on a rainbow type. What? What the hell is that? That's. I've never associated masculinity with how I feel. I've always associated masculinity with what I could contribute to those that I care about. And then my yeah. emotions would confirm that, whether it be ego driven or pride driven, my, my emotions are catered towards getting the job done, not towards expressing myself like this is the like this is the the reading rainbow. What the hell is that? <laughs> I've I've never once thought that way. And to 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 try to program men's mind to think like that. First off, you're not a woman, fam. Stop trying to be one. Like right. you, you, your oh, job is to execute. I'm, I'm so glad you just said that because that was another thing that they said. They said, well, so when women do this, then it's okay. And I thought that was so weird because I'm like, you know, we're not going to sit and act like double standards are not a thing. They are a thing. Just like a man can sleep with 50 women and he's a player. Women sleep with 50 men and she's a whore. Yes, there are double standards and they exist for a reason. Yes, women, we can have sleepovers and paint each other's nails. I can have a female masseuse. Yes, we can, women, we can hold hands and we can do that. Men cannot do that. And it was weird to me that so many women were like, well, so if this was women, would it be okay? Yeah. Yeah, it would be. <laughs> and it's different. So I, I appreciate you uh, so much, my brother. I, I got one more person that I have to hit the road. Thank you, Six, so much. Be I safe. Appreciate you. I'm about to bring you on, Tony. But before I do, let me show y'all this real quick. See, this, this is this is what I got a problem with. All right. I, I am all for, again, black men self-caring. I'm all for it. But see, this is the direction we going in. Let me show y'all this. I saw now we got black men talking about soft life. Look at this shit. The soft life of a black man. He got he he bought himself flowers and roses. He making himself tea, like reading books. Like, what happens if all men start doing this? Like, just in an apartment by themselves, playing with a puppy with flowers and tea. Who is going to build the world? Who's going to problem solve? Where is the women? You know, where is the children? Like, 
there is now a whole black male soft life movement going on. Please bring back toxic masculinity. Okay, just bring it back. I, I, we got niggas out here buying themselves flowers talking about black male soft life. If y'all go on TikTok and type in black male soft life, you're going to be disturbed. Okay, there's tons of videos with men now buying themselves flowers, not taking care of no woman, you know, working on a laptop, not, not testosterone ain't even moving. You just, sitting making tea and shit like this is the direction we're going in that's why i say you know heterosexual black people need to start drawing that line and that sand like listen nah you know we ain't we ain't having no black man talking about soft life get out of here you know what i'm saying like i think about my daddy my daddy a truck driver my daddy like you have to literally force him to sit down okay that man want to work he be on the road so dangerous like so it's so weird to me like i can't picture my daddy being like daughter okay this is new progressive masculinity all right men need a break too men need soft life too when a man we were talking about this in the patreon okay ladies by the way if you like today's makeup look darling if you want to join a community of women who are doing well and winning and looking good, join my Patreon. OK, we do movie nights. We have movie night tonight. Actually, join the Patreon tomorrow. Join tomorrow on the first because it builds you on the first. Join tomorrow. We have movie nights. We have outings. We have a big trip planned in June. Honey, we have a bar on the Patreon, ladies. How to look good, how to be your best self. You need to go ahead and come on, honey. But we were talking about this in the Patreon, how as a woman, it feels good that, you know, when you have men that work, like men get up work, um, then when he does take a break, you're happy for him to take a break. You're like, oh, finally, he's relaxing himself. But when a man is just sitting around every day, taking a break, talking about soft life, buying himself flowers, that builds resentment in the women. Like, oh, uh, we need to see you moving and working, see your testosterone, see you making moves. So when we got these men over here talking about soft life and y'all saying, why can y'all women speak on it? Why do you care? I mean, yes, we get to speak on it. You know, I don't like the direction this is going in. Like there have to be a balance here. Do we want men to just work all the time and be miserable and never have any emotions? No. But do we want niggas talking about soft life and taking pictures with a homeboy like this? No. I don't want to wait for it to get worse before we do that. Oh, no. I wanted to hear Tony. Tony dropped off. Tony, come back if you can. Yeah, we can't both be soft, you know. So at the end of the day, it's, it's a no for me. Um, I'm not really with it whatsoever. Okay, Tony, you coming back on? I wanted to hear what you have to say. I'm over here talking about working, man. And Tony over here looking like he working. I want to put him on. <laughs> um red says without black men in the home it's only going to get worse that's a fact how you doing tony tony my daddy name i'm all here oh i'm good i'm good thank you for asking i do work hard here i see it on you can i can you see it in your face i can hear you okay then oh i appreciate that thank you i'm a cable dude i do fiber and stuff but uh yeah, you were talking okay. about first it was a couple points you were like boom boom bap like you were just hitting like all the yeah. new info, I was like, dang, I didn't know all it was going on. Like, <laughs> I can remember it. Soft is the opposite of masculine. To me, that's like almost mm -hmm. close. Now, you know, men, even when we soft, we don't even like saying the word. Like, you know, yeah. you could be soft on somebody, but that means you're a man. It's still, it's a part of you, but not part of you. You're, it's not something you're fully embraced. Like, buying yourself flowers and stuff. That's some women do this. It's lonely on Valentine's Day, and they lie about you know who bought it for them. That's too much. That's too much manipulation. Like you're wrong. I bet then when they was like, trying to explain, well, uh, you know, well, they're making money, they're rich, they're doing. It. But what at what price does the money start to rise? Like if you're willing to do anything, including like you know, let another man hit you on the mouth for almost or crack cheeks or whatever for money that makes you a prostitute or or a whore or a concubine like that ain't cool mm -hmm. we can't act like it ain't something that been like put on us since the beginning of time like you know black men back in uh asia they used to make them eunuch because they were like oh they got good big penises and they we can't yeah. let them walk around our women like this we got to cut them jumps off 
And then that's what they did, George Washington Carver. That's why his voice was so high. So, you know, then they'll let you in, but they want to let you in. And then we can't act like that ain't the reason why, you know, celebrities like putting but boy, black boys in dresses and everybody think it's cool or cute to adopt yeah. that type of mentality. But no, not for any amount of money. I don't care yeah. what nobody said. And you so fine, Tika. I just want to say like, oh, let me stop <laughs> Thank you. Let me stop <laughs> salivating. I'm, I'm, <laughs> Thank I'm you. I'm juicy mouth, so it's hard. It's hard. <laughs> it's hard. But it's like, you, you and my pics are like, you know, if I were to uh, like put you in the MCU. I'm like, man, somebody Storm needs to look like six. We need to just make Storm six, but out, but don't looking at Killmonger and, and Kang. I'm like, hell no, hell, hell no, no. Don't, don't don't throw you in there like that. And I want no. you to there, but I'm like, no, nah, not right now. They need to recast the challenge and, <laughs> and put put you in there later, like uh, some like. You know, no, but, uh, you're right about they're that. not ready for me. They don't, right don't want to put me in Hollywood. I wouldn't last a day in Hollywood because uh, yeah, I'm not going to be none of that. You're going to be like, oh, I've seen the party. Look, they doing wild stuff in there. I just seen it. That's why I left. They tripping. Yeah, in there. I'll you be gone. Gonna tell the truth. That's probably why they don't want you to get them chicks. Mm-hmm. Them I wouldn't last a minute. Ain't going to come there for what price, but yeah, that's what I believe in. I appreciate you, my brother. I appreciate you. And thank you for working hard and keeping the world moving. Thank you for contributing to that as a black man. We appreciate you. Look, everybody need internet. And and elderly people need to remember their Amazon passwords and everything (laughs) else. And boom, I I know. I got a purpose. At least right now. I appreciate it. I appreciate it, my brother. You have a good one. Yeah, I think today was a great stream. Um, thank you so thank you everybody for all the super chats. Uh, thank you for the cash app. Thank you for the PayPal's. I appreciate the support, you all. Um, you know, the the moral of the story is this: society does not care for you more than you care for yourself. Okay, if we are heterosexual black people, then it's up to us to speak up before things go completely left. It's up to us to say, no, if you want to represent black heterosexuality, there is a standard, period. You know what I'm saying? And that go for men and women. All right. Because there's a lot of women. I told you, that's why I'm traumatized from the girls trips, because you go on a girls trip and you go get in your bed. And all of a sudden, one of the girls on a girls trip is drunk, trying to pry your legs open, trying to eat your fruit. And you like, what the hell? And they like, what's wrong? Okay, it's the same with women. It don't work like that. So you bisexual too. You don't get to eat no coochie and then wake up next day. Nothing happened. No, baby, you also, you know, you need to let people know you going both ways. Okay, heterosexual black people must gatekeep what it is. This don't mean hatred to no one else. It's not about, oh, black men can't love each other. It does not mean, oh, uh, if they're getting along, y'all got a problem with when they kill each other is cool. It ain't any of that extreme stuff. It's just simply saying that you're heterosexual. You want to show love to your brother. Please do that. I encourage that. Okay. I think certain things don't require to be photographed. Certain things don't require to be videographed. Okay. Certain intimate moments between two brothers healing, you know, long hugs, embraces can happen in private. That's very intimate. I think once you pose just two men in a collage of photos in black and white, it gives romance, it gives couples. I think it's very intimate for a man to grab another man's head, like the pastor do this when he's saving you or something like that. Like, But for two men to just be taking a picture like this, like we have to get to that place where things are clear. These are lines that are dangerous to blur. Prevention is the key, okay? Um, so I appreciate y'all. Y'all make sure you subscribe to the channel. Please like the video. And when the video goes off, please leave a comment with your thoughts. Do you find the photo okay? Do you find it problematic? Let me know. You all have a good one and I'll see you on the next one.